What's up my dudes? Today we're going to dive into the basics of Ableton. We're going to learn how to make some clips and audio and MIDI, how to set up a piano roll, and how to drag in some samples. Let's get it. Hey! Alright, so first things first, let's get Ableton open here. And then, I'm going to go over a few different things here. So you have your instruments, drums, sounds, audio effects, MIDI effects, and so on and so forth on this left side here. And this is basically your browser. On the right side we have our individual tracks here, one and two. And then we have our return tracks, and then our master. And then up here, you know, we have our BPM, metronome, this thingy that just makes it go along when you're playing in the arrangement view which it is tab to get to that view. So first things first, I should probably show you guys how to insert audio clips and how to insert MIDI clips. Now the difference is audio, you can drag and drop in a sample, whereas with MIDI, if you double click on one of these here, it brings up a piano roll. And this is where you can add your synths, instruments, VSTs, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and grab something here. And then to arm the track to where you can use your keyboard as a keyboard, hit this little thing down here. So I'm going to double click on that again, and then see we are hitting a D sharp there. And you can double click or right click and turn on draw mode to draw in notes. I personally don't like to do that. I like to just double click and then I can drag how long I want the note to be. When you see it on that right side there, how it changes the cursor. And same thing with the left side. And then you can go up and down by clicking and dragging. And then if you go left and right, it zooms in and zooms out. If you'd like to make the measure longer, head over to this right side click and drag to the right. And you can zoom in and zoom out on top here too with the little magnifying glass. Or you can use these over here where it's divided by two or times by two. So I'm just going to set up a little melody line here. Then I'll play it. So now I'm going to set up another MIDI, but for a drum rack where I can add in my drums. So we're going to add this in here and see that we're at C1, but you see our keyboard is hitting all the way up at C3. You can hit Z or X to go up or down in octaves on your keyboard. And we now just went down two octaves to hit where our kick is. I'm going to change a few knobs here. All right. So now we have a kick. I'm going to add a clap. Then I'll add a hi-hat loop here. So now if you click on the right side here, you can see that it is going to play the whole entire 
line. But this is clip view. We want to go into arrangement view where we can arrange a whole entire song. So what we can do is hit tab to get into that view. But if we hit tab again and come back, if you click and hold on one of these clips and drag it over onto its correct track, it will be an arrangement view. So when you hover over the track or a clip, you see this little arrow here, you can drag it along and it'll loop it. If it doesn't loop, double click on it to bring it up and make sure this is turned on. And drag it out. Same thing with this loop here for your audio loops. You'll want to make sure that that is on and you can click and drag that. Now let's say we didn't want those drums and that melody and everything right there, but we want it somewhere else. We can click and drag to highlight hit control C or right click and copy or we could always cut it with control X and put it somewhere else. So we'll put it over here. And this here is our loop as well and we can turn that on with this right up here. Now we can try some effects. And to access your tracks, you always need to double click. And then if you want to bring it down, you can either drag it down like so, or double click to drop it down. It's now on to audio effects. So I'm going to grab a reverb, put it all the way up, change a few settings, and see what we come up with. Maybe an EQ. Let's say I want this over here, and instead of moving it, I also want it right there. Just hit Control D, or right click and duplicate. Now it seems like it's too loud. Well, you can right click here, which is where your volume is, and make an automation by clicking and bringing it down. But now this is too quiet, so let's turn that up. Which we could either do it here or in the control right here. But to make it simpler on ourselves, we're just going to go into our audio effects, grab a utility, and bring it up until we're happy with it. say we want to create another clip right here and we want it to be this long we would hit control shift M or you can highlight right click and hit insert mini clip now we can double click on that to bring up our piano roll and click in random notes now one difference with Ableton 10, if you're on, if you're in Ableton 10, is sometimes like this for instance right here, where I'm highlighting it, but it won't delete it with the delete button or control X. 
it's because this is on right here. That brings up the view for fading and automations. And when that is on, you would have to highlight all the way up top and drag down to delete. Now let's say we want to export what we have. We would highlight what we want, file, export audio, and then we can change our sample rate, our type, bit depth, and if we want to dither. And if you want to do individual tracks, master, or just one track. And then you can export it to wherever you want. And that's the basics of Ableton. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will get to you as soon as I can. If you learned something new today, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.